President Obama making an interesting last-minute add to his campaign schedule with just days before next week's election. The president heading to Virginia to stump for Congressman Tom Perriello, considered one of the most vulnerable, vulnerable Democrats in the country. So after months of big, big fundraisers at high levels and efforts mostly to save the high-profile Democratic senators, why would the president make time for this one particular House race? Nancy Skinner is a syndicated talk show host, and Jonah Goldberg is a Fox News contributor and editor-at-large for National Review Online. Jonah, let me start with you on this. Uh, little Tom Perriello, with all due respect to him, you know, there's a lot of Democrats he could go out there to help, including some Democratic senators who would still like his help. And so why does Tom Perriello in Virginia get a personal visit and, you know, boost from the president? Yeah, I think there might be a bunch of reasons, and th this is basically criminology, right? I have no inside uh, information from the White House on this. But uh, first of all, Perriello is a hero to a lot of uh, liberal columnists, bloggers, and the rest. E.J. Dion has written glowingly about him because Perriello stood by all of his pro-Obama votes. He has stood by his stimulus vote, his health care vote, cap and trade, and all the rest. He took a risk in essentially a very conservative, although not historically all that Republican, a district. Um, and in some ways, maybe Obama's actually doing the noble thing here and trying to reward him or help him out for, for taking one for the team. Uh, also, this is a good media market for him for these other races that are going on. Uh, he might get some pickup from that. But it, I agree, it is a strange move given where, um, where else he might be needed out oh, there. Okay, but it's interesting you say that, Nancy, because he says he's doing the noble thing. He is going there to help a guy who really backed him, uh, you know, 100%. I think the, the Republican... Uh, uh, the National Republican Campaign Committee, from congressional campaign people, put out a statement saying, this is one of the few Democratic incumbents that will have President Obama. But they, they have been essentially lockstep on the big issues, health care, stimulus, cap and trade. So the president goes to help him out. But, but, why now? There are five days to go before the election. Where was the president when this race was really ginning up and he really could have made a difference. Can he really swing this thing with, according to the latest polls, Perriello down by six, he's been down by 11, down by so on. Uh, can he really swing it now? Well, Perriello won that race because of high turnout among African-American and young voters. So it makes sense to me, and we all know the House is, is, is going to be very tight, uh, that, y that you go back and you get your base out, and, and the president can get his base out. Now, there's some people saying, oh, he shouldn't even show up this district because there's going to be like a, a, a Republican or, or who might not have voted who's going to say, oh, yeah, I don't like that guy Obama. I'm going to go vote for the other guy. But for every 10 voters in your base that you say we are making progress and you get them to the polls and that's how you won the last time, that's the, a good play in, in uh, the last few days. And you should be doing that in more races for people that stood with him. What message will it send, Jonah, to, to other young Democrats, right? Because this guy comes in as a freshman Democrat. Uh, I think he's only been there. He's been there since 08 or 06 at the most. 08, yeah. Okay, so 08. So what message does this send to other young freshman Democrats who are coming into this new Congress that we're going to have? That, you know, the president has campaigned for just a handful of these young Democrats in the House who did put themselves on the line. Perriello gets the nod. So many others didn't and are outraged right now that even though they sacrificed themselves politically, the party wasn't there for them when the chips were down. Yeah, but, but I mean, here I think the NRCC is exactly right. There are very few Democrats outside of deep blue states who want Obama in their district. I mean, we're seeing that, that, that this, is, this is turning into a referendum on Obama, these midterm elections, a point that Obama himself uh, said very eloquently on Al Sharpton's radio show yesterday, saying that this was essentially a vote on his agenda. And his agenda is not very popular. That's why you have the most popular Democrat in the state of neighboring West Virginia loading and firing a deer rifle at the cap-and-trade bill and all but saying that yeah, he'll have commercial. nothing to do with Obama. Yeah, he did. It's a That's very true. bad climate. But Nancy, what about it? Do you, but you maintain that the president showing where the president has low popularity ratings, that still there's more good than harm because the base still loves him. Absolutely. You know, it's like Al Gore uh, abandoned Clinton. It turned out not to be a good move. That uh, Obama's a tremendous speaker, and he can bring his base out, and that's what he needs to do. And, the, the, of course, the Tea Party people aren't going to change their minds in the last minute, 
but having Obama there, he is popular. He, he, his personal opinion uh, popularity ratings are still high. He's he higher, much higher than George Bush's. So um, where, where, this where idea is the evidence that, it's, that it's Obama a, a can bring out of his base? I'm well, we'll curious. see on Tuesday, won't we? Yeah. But he, yeah. his rallies are still full. When he gets out and he can explain what he's done and how he's turned this economy around and that the health care, that now their kids can stay in their health care till they're 26. You can't kick them off for pre-existing okay, conditions. Okay, okay, we're those getting, we're getting off topic. He explains those. All right, guys, I got to run. Then but people yeah. will, yes, I'm going to go vote again. He won't get out of his base is my prediction. Okay, his base guys. won't show up. Nancy, Jonah, thank, thank you. you both so much. Well, troubling <laughs> reports.